Hello everyone, I'm Bob McFarland, the software developer on the Save the Cat team. All right, let's go to the board. Down the left is a list of everything on the board with headers for each section of the board. Want to work on a scene? Tap it in the list. If you want to move items around on the board, tap the Move button at the top. Then drag the object to its new location and drop it. And tap Done when you're, you guessed it, done. Let's first take a look at a scene. If you've added locations, tap the Select button to select the location for the scene. If you haven't entered the locations yet, you can type the location. And tap in another box or dismiss your keyboard and you'll be given the chance to add the new location. You can see there are a number of tabs. The details you see here. Here is where you'll type your script. I'll type in my scene heading and press return. Notice at the top of the keyboard where it says tap for character. When you want to enter dialog, tap that button. The cursor moves to the appropriate position for the character name. Notice the buttons at the top of the keyboard have changed. You now have tap for transition and tap for action. Use them as necessary. I'll type a character name and press return. Type my dialog, press return. You can see the formatting is taken care of. If you're working on a novel, this will be formatted for a manuscript. Okay, let's move on to notes. Just like with beats and characters, you can add notes for the scene. The Boards tab shows any boards in which this scene is included. Here is where I can add characters to the scene so that when I look at the Characters Board tab, I'll see all the scenes that include this character. The same thing applies for Things and Relationships. And just a reminder, Things and Relationships only show up when you have the Premium or Pro level. You also have Setups and Payoffs and Attachments. Notice at the bottom you also have Color Coding. You can have up to six different color codes for each scene. Just tap a particular box to add or clear a color code. You'll get a pop-up list of all your color codes. Select the color code for the scene and voila! To clear a color code, tap it and select Clear Color Code. Alright, let's wrap this up with the cool part about the board. You're not limited to scenes. You can add many other things to the board in order to track them throughout your story. To add something to the board, find the spot where you want to add it and do what is called a long press on the item. I'll pick a scene to add a character after the scene. A list of all the things you can add pops up. You can insert a new scene, a character, location, etc. You can also add a sequence where you can combine multiple scenes together. You can also add color-coded labels to make notes for yourself. And finally, you can pull things back in from the litter box. Now I'm going to add that character that we set up with tracking. A list of characters pops up. I'll select Bob. Bob is inserted after the scene. Now I can type a description of what's happening with Bob at this point in the story. But also notice the tracking. We're tracking Bob's health, so now I can describe his health at this point in the story. I'll just remove everything after feeling fine. And save it. Now I'll move to a point later in the story. A long press on a scene. Pick character. Pick Bob. And notice we again have our full tracking description. Now this is going to be where Bob gets headaches. I'll type that in and save it. So you get the idea. Now if we go back and look at Bob in our characters list and take a look at the boards tab, you can see the character's entire story. Here is the scene that Bob is in, and you can see where we placed Bob on the board to track his health. Finally, to remove an item from a board, just swipe to the left, and you can either move it to the litter box if you want to bring it back later, or delete it if you want to completely get rid of it. All right, folks, it's time to get back to working on your Oscar-winning screenplay or your best-selling novel. Until next time, I'm Bob McFarlane. Thanks for joining me.